So I really want to make something very like earthy and round and not like very stylized. So I tried to stick with really natural shape. No, my art is very, I guess whimsical. It gets my colors on a page because I can never find the right words for colors and there's never enough words for a picture. Both of them are based off of a lyric from a song called Digital Veil. Mm. Like I try like a couple different ways to create the color. All my work's kind of uh, grotesque and dark, sort of. Well, I know I wanted to start with something with a puzzle because I was I was actually making the pieces myself, but it wasn't working out the way I wanted to. So I was really focused on like all the turmoil I was feeling about what I wanted to do with my future and I needed to take out that anxiety somewhere, so. Well, it's based off of Harry Potter, um, so it's the train scene, because I was trying to show the concept that authors, when they first write their book, come up with one idea, but then once it's gone through like uh, editing process and everybody's read it, it's not their own anymore, so it's another book. I kind of approached them really uh, conceptualized, you know. Uh, I kind of started out with broad shapes and re redefined them to fit whatever I like. I started out with one one uh, really broad shape that kind of could have turned into anything. I tried to keep it as small as I could, but um, they just kept getting bigger. I think I'm mostly inspired by color because I, I guess I have this weird obsession with bright colors and colors in general and how they work together. And like artists like Alice Neal and Alex Katz that work with color like that are usually the ones that inspire me to use a lot of bold color.